Hi guys, so I thought I'd do another power test video for you today. This one is of the Pofeng GT5 or the Bofeng GT5. Um, it's basically the updated version of the UV82. Um, so it's the same inside pretty much, just a different screen, different casing. This radio is really nice. It's got the uh, it's got the dead bright buttons on it, which you're probably not able to see in the daylight, but in the dark. You can just about make out it's got really really bright buttons on it which are which are good so i'm going to do a power test video today so uh, i'll get the meter plugged in we're going to be using the gy 561 uh, frequency and power meter i'll get that plugged in and i'll uh, i'll show you the power test okay so the power test is going to be the uh, the same as usual we'll do it on vhf low uhf low vhf high and uhf high so it'll be 145 500 on VHF and 433 500 on VHF, oh, UHF, sorry, which are the calling frequencies. So we're on VHF low here, so. Oops, sorry, wrong frequency. So VHF low is 1.8 watts. UHF low, 2.1 watts. VHF high, 6 watts, and UHF high, 5 watts. Okay guys, so thanks for watching that. I hope you found it interesting or it helped some people. A lot of people ask for these power videos, they're quite popular. Um, I think it must help people when deciding which, uh, which sort of radio to buy. Probably should point out that um, these radios aren't meticulously tested. Um, you know, you can get two. I've got two UV5Rs that have completely different power measurements on them. So, um, don't base your judgment on buying this radio around the power test video. You, you know, you could get a duff that's a watt. Uh, you know, let's say one watt less. Um, not that it's going to make that much of a difference on on a, on a low powered handheld anyway, but. Um, you know, you can get one Bofeng that will show 4.8 watts on VHF high power and another one that will show 6.8 watts. Um, you know, so the, uh, they are very uh, very erratic power measurements. But um, this pa frequency and power meter is, is pretty accurate. Um, it's, it's quite accurate for the price. Uh, so I hope that helped. If you want to ask me any questions, just leave me a note in the box below. I'll get back to you. If you've got any other suggestions for power test videos, if I've got the radio, I'll throw up a power test video for you. That's not a problem, just ask me. Okay, 7-3 for now, and thanks for watching.